Imagine an insect looking at what you're looking at right now. It'd probably be as scared as you are and run right out the door or fly away, as insects do, not like humans do. Why is that? Maybe you're just trying to take his photo. Most creatures don't want you intruding in their private lives. They scurry away at the sight of you. They think they might end up like this butterfly. You can use the long lens of the Sony RX10 Mark III to get as close as you want without frightening anyone. Hello and welcome to standoff macros and close-ups of nature with the Sony RX10 Mark III. I'm sorry you had to see that ugly clip of my mouth at the beginning of this video, but I wanted to illustrate a point. That point is that when photographing the creatures, both large and small in nature, you have to be a little careful of their feelings because what they see when they see you photographing them is threatening and not very attractive. The solution to that for me is to use standoff photography with the Sony RX10 Mark III. I extend the lens as far as it can go. It's normally a 600 millimeter lens, but I also use the clear image zoom to get it up to 1200 millimeters. In those situations, you can focus with at just under three feet, which is pretty amazing and it will get you close to just about any creature that's out there, whether it's big or small. If you're focusing at just under three feet with a small creature, you have to be pretty precise and careful of what you're doing. And it isn't that easy. Bigger creatures are a little bit easier. But when you increase the point, the extension of the lens, you narrow the point of view. So it's even more difficult when you photograph large creatures with a extended lens. Luckily, the stabilization works very well on this camera and uh, you can photograph both those tiny things and those large things with the lens fully extended. This video will show you how that works out with both the tiny little guys and the big guys. I'll show you both photos and videos and discuss a little bit about what happened in each. This little guy proved to be the exception to the rule of staying away. He didn't fear me at all. There was a reason he was so close though. That was this HFR video that I took. Slow motion, he was being fed. And of course, if one is fed, the other one has to be fed too. Use the clear image zoom to get photos like these. It extends the lens to 1200 millimeters, giving you a lot more reach. These were taken at a bird blind with the birds about eight feet away. The clear image zoom can also be used for video macros, like the one above capturing this bee on a sunflower. The slow motion or HFR video only extends the lens to 600 millimeters. Even your dog will thank you for using the clear image zoom to get photos like these.
handheld videos with HFR are a little easier to hold steady. Stop the action of distant birds with a long lens. Some birds you want to keep at a distance. Other things you just don't want to get near. So here's something pretty cool, a uh, snake has shed his skin and left it all over the place here. There's a piece, there's another piece, and here's another piece on a piece of concrete. Capture the detail while far away. Where's the rest of the head? The variety of things to get close to while far away is endless. Get even closer with the macro attachment at the end of the long lens.
possibilities are as endless as nature itself. Sometimes the results are so surreal you'll think you've entered another world, but you haven't. Things have been distorted by your lens and the macro lens to produce these strange otherworldly images. So watch out for that photographer's mouth when you're out there shooting the small creatures and the large. They might be a little frightened of you if you get too close. <laughs> 